Hello and welcome to another video. Today we've got a guest. Hello! Vegan Joe. <laughs> <laughs> or Joe. <laughs> and but we've decided to come out in um, quite bracing winds. Yes. And um, both starting to need a wee and it's quite early on. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so we'll see how things pan out. Solid. Awesome. <laughs> solid is what we need. So, after that's not solid. That one was. She's trying to trick me. <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, is that my uh, penance for being grumpy when you arrived? You were very gr <laughs> just very grumpy when I arrived. She's very late. Well, not late, late, but. Just not fast. Can I just say to the camera, I did do park run this morning. I had to come to hers after I finished park run, so that involved a shower and a change. Fair enough. Fair enough. And Newark traffic. <laughs> <laughs> so, alfresco weeing. Do we uh, do we obey the countryside code? Is alfresco weeing? Leave, leaving no trace. Absolutely. So, prepared with wee kit. Wee kit in pocket. Wee kit in pocket. Is that a she wee or is it just tissue and bag and stuff tissue like that? Tissue bag and to back. Excellent. <laughs> I'm going to be trying to purchase a she wee for my adventures and then trying not to dribble all down my trousers. <laughs> so when I asked you if you did do a commentary to the camera yeah. about me having an alfresco wee, yeah. was that a lie? No. Because you've done like a, a check up <laughs> no, I'm just sins. like not like oh now you've just been for a wee. Okay. It's like with countryside wees, do we obey the countryside code? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So we've just passed, and I didn't realise it was there. Um, what is a, a meat and fur farm? A rabbit meat and fur farm. And Joe has been and done some activism there recently. So do you want to say a little bit about that? Yeah. So there was a day of action one day and uh, a lot of ac activists um, did a basically like a demo protest outside um, and um, when when we were there we spotted two rabbits that needed um, veterinary care um, one had um, a head tilt so bad that they were practically horizontal and just going around in a circle and then there was another baby rabbit that uh, uh, the mum had chewed the foot off and that doesn't happen in the wild that happens under stressful circumstances and neither of these rabbits had had uh, any veterinary care so we basically said surrender these rabbits so we can help them and uh, they did. So in this country, it's illegal to breed animals for fur, but you can get around it by selling their flesh. So they're bred for meat, byproduct is, is fur, and you can go on the website of that place and see all the delights. So it, fluffy it's, bunny skin. It's um, Br East Bridgeford. 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 Yes. East Bridgeford. And one of the reasons I didn't realise what it was all this time is there's obviously nothing that indicates from the outside that it's a rabbit farm. I think probably, well hopefully a lot of people would find that abhorrent. Um, it's, is it called Bee Farm I think from the outside? That's the next neighbouring, oh, neighbouring farm. Okay. Yeah. So there's, there's a tiny little kind of wooden sign at the bottom that says the Warren. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just uh, pretty miserable knowing that that's on the route of what should be an enjoyable, picturesque walk. So, leading on from our last bit of uh, conversation, um, I wanted to let Jo tell you a little bit about some of the other stuff that she's done for uh, kind of fundraising and activism, because it's absolutely mental. <laughs> so, <laughs> particularly this year, your, what was it, 
marathon. Well, no, we're in 2022 now, okay, so I can't sorry. claim this year anymore. Okay. But no, that's it true. was still only a few weeks ago, really, but. <laughs> and it was epic. <laughs> so, I am a vegan runner, but uh, I feel the need to have like a bit of a disclaimer. I am not built for running at all. I am not aerodynamic. I am very, very slow. So that whole slogan, finish lines, not finish times, that's me. I thought to myself, well, uh, let's do myself, no, sorry, let's do a ridiculous challenge and see if I can make some money for a couple of animal sanctuaries. Oh, we're not talking just like a couple of hundred quid here, we're talking about like, yeah, money. Uh, yeah, 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 four figures. So, uh, under the umbrella of uh, Lincolnshire, I can't speak, sorry, we're going uphill. Lincolnshire Animal Save, which is the uh, save movement chapter that I run. Um, I put it out there that I was going to do a uh, multi-marathon month of madness, as we coined it. So, two marathons, two weeks apart, and then two weeks after that, I was finishing the month with the uh, local 10K. Um, the first marathon was the virtual London. So that was quite nice. That was quite nice because I could do that from home. And then two weeks later, um, I did the York Marathon, Yorkshire Marathon, sorry. Um, the problem was I have plantar fasciitis and after um, doing the first marathon, um, my feet were pretty much screaming at me. So by mile seven of the second marathon, um, I was hobbling in agony, um, but still managed to get across the finish line um, in under seven hours. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then kind of thought that the uh, Lincoln 10K would be the nice fun race out of all three and then uh, Deb will tell you about that because she, I think she's still got um, a little bit trauma a little bit of trauma from that adventure I think what we can describe ourselves as now is the Lincolnshire 10k 2021 survivors club <laughs> <laughs> but yes I think the, the, the only word that can really sum up that day is biblical like I mean I've never seen rain like it and certainly never been out in rain like it and every stitch of every layer of everything we were wearing from head to toe literally was soaked through. It was, yeah, my, what I was wearing was so heavy that I couldn't carry on running anymore at um, eight kilometres. I was just trudging. I mean, we've got some pictures yeah. um, <laughs> of like road signs submerged in pools of water and at one point it was like there was just nowhere to go to keep your feet dry it was like rivers running down roads just commit just commit commit <laughs> and uh and it was like rapids as well it there, was. Was, there was there was a current in the in the middle of the street <laughs> and um so what happened then was we got to the end and out came the glorious sunshine rainbows yep. blue sky yep it was actually quite warm so <laughs> which is just unfucking believable yeah i know <laughs> We managed to uh, make 1,200 quid to be divided between um, the local wildlife sanctuary called Wildline in Saxelby, Lincolnshire. And then um, the other half went to um, Pigs in the Woods. So it's, it's pretty amazing the stuff that you've done. So will you be fundraising again this year for them? I don't think I've quite fully recovered from it emotionally yet about okay. how difficult it is. So I haven't haven't worked out what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> well, what, what we'll do, we can leave uh, links to both those organisations um, and the links and animal save stuff in the description below the video. So if anybody's interested in checking them out and supporting them, and if Joe does any uh, further fundraising, then we can kind of give her give her a shout out. And if people want to sponsor, Thank you. Thank that would be you. awesome. So we've nearly made it back now. That's nine miles and we've both survived. And remained upright. Remained upright, most importantly. Despite um, a bit of precarious mud. Yeah, but uh, I think we've missed the worst of the weather. 
um, yeah, ready for a sit down and a brew. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for today, we shall see you next time.